Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here again. Today I decided to go out to one of my old spots in the park. And it is a lot of snow out here. And I got a handheld prop. So I'm going to be bouncing up and down a little bit. But I wanted to take this moment and talk to you out here in the real stuff. You know, oftentimes we hear people say, we don't want American soldiers on the ground in foreign disputes. And I guess I can understand that, especially when we have no input in whether a dispute exists or not. It would probably make some sense if we had some input into the situation, but just to pick up our guns and go and defend someone there are only a few times you can do that. The, the few times, or should I just mention one, is when there's a victim, when there is an aggressor that's uh, exploiting, for whatever their reasons might be, an innocent power. Who asks for help? Who themselves are willing to commit themselves all the way and ask for help? Then anybody who hears that cry are obligated to help. And if you don't do it, well, I guess you just don't do it. Anyway, I, I heard her say this. And, and the reason I'm bringing that up or mentioning it is because anytime one of us are threatened, anytime one of us are about to lose our life, Look like everybody who can would want to help us save our life, especially if we want to save it. In other words, if any one of us was hungry, look like the whole world would want to make sure that we would never go out of here talking about we died because we were hungry. It seems as if uh, we got sick that the whole world would prepare itself in such a way that any possible cure, any possible prevention, as far as the health is concerned, would be met. Because we wouldn't let you out of here saying you didn't have health care. You'd have to sneak and do it if you want to get by with it. And to be on earth just living and caught up in the vices, nah, 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 nah. You would have something to do, something that you would love doing. And what you love doing would be like if you're playing basketball, you know, if you're guarding real good and keep the other guy from shooting, or if you can shoot real good, shoot three points, you're giving your role. Or if you can't do anything but block, you do it real good, you're playing your role. You know, the shooter, I don't care how good he can shoot. If somebody's not blocking, if somebody's not guarding, then you ain't winning. And so what I'm basically saying, ladies and gentlemen, for any nation, for any people to succeed, all of the people are going to have to be involved. Now, I'm not going to bite my tongue. I say things that's negative all the time, but it's the truth. We as Americans are in the position that we're in because we are, what you call it, misfits. I guess that's a word. We are not deserving to be at peace. We are not deserving to be prosperous as a nation. No, look what we've done. Look how we've exploited everybody. We've exploited the blacks and people of color. We've gone across the land and taken our careers and jobs to overseas to give it to people who, who were poor and they would work for a little or nothing just so you can make a lot of money and the people in this country suffer. That's because you're making rules. I'm going to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen, all you got to do is listen to Donald Trump. He tells you that some people are not worth anything from shithole nations. What kind of leader could he be for you? His voice is nothing but the butt of the devil. I mean, you might agree with it and you might believe in it wholeheartedly. That's what you've been taught. But the truth is, it's from the butt of hell. But many of you want it. 74 million, I believe, of you wanted it, voted for that man again. Even though he had been impeached twice by the rest of the people who couldn't stand him. But you said he was all right for you. You didn't say let's fix it. 
You didn't say let's find some way to bring the other 80 million from the other side over our way. No, you said to hell with them. In fact, you're going to steal the election, let you know you really don't care what they think. You, the American people, 74 million of you, Republicans, and if you're a Republican and you're still over there talking about some, I believe in limited government, I believe in and conserve, get your hell out there and go somewhere and sit your butt down until you need somebody. And I guarantee you, you won't be thinking about some limited government. You won't be thinking about no conservative when you're hungry. When you've been blessed and benefited and used everybody, now you want to make laws and stuff that protects you and you don't give a stink how it, how it involves and hurt other people. And the evidence, ladies and gentlemen, I just told you about America right then. I just told you about Trump and the Republicans and the Democrats know better. I didn't say anything about the Democrats at this point because the Democrats are right now trying to play the better role. They are trying to play the better role. They are saying, let's $15 an hour. Do you think that means something? $15 an hour minimum wage. Do you think that means anything? And look at the people in America. Look at the people around the world. All you guys know that there are those amongst you that you call geniuses. There are those amongst you that you call hilarious. These guys got all of this knowledge, got all of this wisdom, and still to this day you have not come up with a plan that would satisfy the needs and wants and the desires of the people of this nation. You still to this date haven't done it. And when you fall short of it and people bring it to your attention, you get mad and want to arrest them. They put them in jail because you're not going to do a thing about it. Tell them they got to take it because you're too dumb. You're too ignorant to know that there is another power that can give you the answer. And we, the people, have to suffer because if we stand up, you'll do to us what Putin does to his people. Now, over there, if they tell the truth, they go to jail for 15 years. Now they say fake news. Well, we know what fake news means. Fake news means that they're telling the truth. You remember that. Anytime you hear somebody say fake news, that means they're telling the truth. So Putin says anybody over there that's telling the truth about what they're doing gets 15 years. He takes the media and controls it. And the people can't get the truth. All they get are lies. And how do you expect these people to respond in life when all they got are lies? Exploitation. I guess that's the reason that we haven't destroyed ourselves just yet. Because the power that we can't see are having mercy on those of us who are so stupid and ignorant and misled misguided, deceived, you know, deceived. And when you think about what he's doing in Russia to those people not letting them know the truth, that's all about deception. That's what happened in heaven, messed up heaven, deception. That's what happened in the garden, deception. And here in America, we was already messed up. But we got a chance, this generation, these people that are living today, got a chance to see it in operation. Deception. We saw Trump popping in with that deceptive stuff. We saw how it kept on. And we see how it's destroying this nation. We see how it already destroyed Russia. And I say, this what you want? This is what you want? See, we can't blame the Democrats. And truthfully, you can't blame the Republicans. I know all of the, everybody played a role in it. But bottom line is this. Nobody forced you to go along with any of it. Oh yes, you were deceived, you were lied to, you were manipulated, you were exploited, but no one forced you to. That's what you saw, that's what you accepted, that's where you went. The love of God, nowhere around, nowhere. And every time a Dr. Martin Luther King comes along, the devil kills him. Every time uh, Gandhi comes along, the devil kills him. Every time a Malcolm X comes along, the devil kills him. And all of us great pretenders are walking around 
Some of us got planes and living in mansions. Some of us got all kinds of expensive cars and ladies. And some of us just got three or four members in our congregation. And all of us and everything we are doing empowers the evil that is in our midst. For that evil is us. The evil we see, the evil we experience is us. Think about that, ladies and gentlemen. And I just want to thank you so very much for stopping on this post. I really want to keep on talking to you and hoping that I can touch something inside of you that will wake you up and make you feel that, hey, everybody's important and that there is a God and there must be a way that works for everyone. And this is not it because it is not working. So let us find something that works for everyone. And every program that you jump on must be working for everyone, must be working for everyone. And it must be able to, we must be able, as people come into it, must be able to see it as we are joining it. If we can't see it, we ain't joining it. And if you fall short of our ability to see it, we'll point it out and let you know what it is. So you can either fix it or show us where we missed it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'll leave it there. Until next time, Eddie Marcus say goodbye.